unlike my most hated Hufflepuff characters, which was fairly easy, finding Ravenclaws that I didn't like was quite a challenge. But there was one Ravenclaw character who I absolutely hate and I feel like that character's position on this list makes up for the fact that I kind of had to shoehorn the rest in. I think maybe the reason that I found this difficult is partly because I am a second choice Ravenclaw, I am a Slytherin by choice, but if Slytherin didn't exist I would be a Ravenclaw. But I did find a few characters, three, who I decided to put on this list not because I don't like them, but because I feel they are really overrated. So we're going to start with one that's probably pretty controversial and that's Ollivander. And I don't actually think I realised Ollivander was a Ravenclaw until I sat down to make this list. But it turns out he is. And I... Ollivander in the first film, in Philosopher's Stone, is great. His involvement with Harry getting his wand is lovely and magical and a lot of fun. But he pops up from time to time and I feel like they're... It's forced. It feels really forced. I don't really feel like he was the best character to execute certain plots and, and certain sub-narratives along the way. So for that reason, I, I, I put him in here because I feel like he's overrated because I like him in the first film. But after that, I just feel like he is a, a little bit irrelevant. And I say that, I know he brings character development and a narrative progression. But personally, after the first film, I could do without him. The next one is a bit of an odd one because I'm putting the character himself in here, but not his counterpart. Because I'm Slytherin. I am putting Professor Quirrell in here. And that is Quirrell. Not Quirrell with Voldemort on the back of his head because... I just think that's one of the most amazing things in, in, in cinematic history, just seeing Quirrell and then Voldy, it's, it's incredible. But Quirrell himself was just a bit annoying and a little bit irritating and visually in the films I thought he looked fantastic but there were certain things where he spoke and not just because he had a stutter, um, but <laughs> that's not why, but just his attitude and the way he behaved. I thought, oh come on, you're a bit wet, get over it, Voldemort chose you for a reason do the duty um, with which you have been trusted and you're annoying me and you're very wet and pathetic and you really should be a bit stronger. So for that reason, I thought Quirrell was a pretty decent choice to put in here. The last one is another one that I feel like I'm shoehorning into this. I don't hate them, but when I look at their involvement in the stories, I think actually that character was on the one hand underdeveloped, but on the other overhyped. And that's Cenophilius Lovegood. Now I love Luna. But I feel like her father plays kind of a, a back seat until he becomes one of the most important characters in the development of the story. And then it's all about him and suddenly this attention has come from nowhere. And I felt like we could have done a, a, a little bit more character building until we got to that stage. All we basically know about him is what we know from the Quibbler. And then it's suddenly, ooh, Xenophilius Lovegood is massively important and let's focus on him for like three hours. And for that reason, I think the character was underdeveloped. So I don't have a problem with him as a character as such. I like his personality. I like the way he kind of goes about things. I like the way he moves, which is obviously based on the films. But in terms of the actual positioning of the character and the way he's brought about, I, I think a lot more could have been done with him. And the last one I absolutely despise, and I've mentioned this character before when I did my top five most hated Harry Potter characters, Cho Chang. I really don't know what to say about this character that I haven't already said. I don't like her. I do not like her attitude. I do not like the way she treats Harry. I don't like the way she speaks, the words she chooses. And I think I've got to that stage where I'm biased. The more I hate her, the more she irritates me. And the more she irritates me, the more I hate her. So I just, I have a very negative relationship with Cho Chang. So I thought the Hufflepuff one was pretty difficult, but actually the Ravenclaw one has proven pretty pretty challenging and I've had to be very creative with my reasons for putting people into this list I think. The next one, Gryffindors, that's going to be easy. Already I can name about eight or nine Gryffindors who I want to put in this list. Then we have Slytherins which uh, yeah I think that's going to be, I'm going to be pretty divided with that one. And then after that I will do my top five favourites which may be easy, maybe not, we'll see. As I said, just my opinions, don't be offended. Let me know your top five least favourite Ravenclaws and I'll speak to you all soon.